This mod fixes Chronicles, not only by restoring some classic style weaponry, era appropriate for the maps themselves, but also bringing in a classic themed HUD, as well as a few other changes that really give a boost of nostalgia. Today, we're going to be playing Moon, one of my favorite maps of all time, with this awesome mod that you can download right now with the link in the description for Black Ops 3 on PC. All right, kicking it all off, we have the Black Ops Cold War 1911, if I'm not mistaken. We've got Jug there, which is nice, though. I'm pretty tempted to pack a punch this. Can't lie. It's the ultimate test of your ability. Everyone knows you're a real one if you can pack a punch on round one on this map. So that's exactly what we're going to have to do. I don't make the rules, okay? I'm feeling it. I'm sensing it. Yep. The dogs are spawning. The dogs are spawning. Here we go. Get you gone, boy. There it is. There it is. Gather them all up. Here we go. And so it begins. And so it begins. Come on, where's that dog? I hear you. I hear you, baby. Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, uh, let's not talk about that one. All right, here we are on my um my first ever attempt with Moon. Definitely. Oh, we still got Jug. That's nice. Being real though, the second I saw that tiny little gap, I yeah, I knew I was cooked. Did that to myself. But this time, I believe. And that, that changes everything. I'm so going to die. Come on, come on. Round them up. More than this. I need more than this. Why are you so far away, boy? Oh, this ain't good. This ain't good at all. Okay, yeah, that's not many kills with the knife there. All right, that'll do. Let's run. Okay, right. We're going to need to use grenades early to actually get kills with them. Um, so let's chuck it. No, that'll do. Seems to be pretty effective. Fuck it. Chuck another one. All right, kill you. Yes, sir. Oh, boy. Ooh, there you go. Nice little gap there. That'll do. All right, are you? Yes, you're still a one knife. Good. Hello. Get you as well. Okay, right. Oh, boy. More dogs spawning. More dogs spawning. So why are they not dying anymore? God damn. Yeah, these dogs are on something. I don't even know what. I I'm not a fan. I can tell you that much. No. Why am I red screen? Stop it. They're just getting ever stronger with this freaking siren. I've never seen the dogs this resilient this early. Like, this is so weird. Something's up here. Maybe the mod buffs the dogs. That would actually make a lot of sense here. These things are just, they're just not dying. They're just straight up not dying. I'm not actually convinced I can pull this off. But the problem is getting a clear shot into the crowd is just near impossible when these things are chasing me like this. At the very least, I like the sound of this uh, 1911 here. At this point, I'm going to spend more time here than in the actual map. Right, I've just got to knife 20 more times. One, two. This is painful. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, 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 don't do it. No. <laughs> come on, come on, come on. Please, I can hear him right behind me, bro. I'm scared. I'm so scared, dog. Have the gun. Oh, it's a Mustang and Sally. Oh, interesting, interesting. Okay, Cold War Mustang and Sally's. You know what? I'm kind of here for it. Okay, right. I could have stayed there and got Jug, but I'm, I'm playing it cool. I'm playing it cool. I'm playing it safe. Let's not risk too much here. We have proven our, um, oh, we even got the inspect for the dual world very much like that. Because of course, this is still the Cold War model. So if I'm not mistaken, this could be the first Mustang and Sally I've seen that actually has an inspect animation. Because in Cold War, we didn't even get the Mustang and Sally's. This is kind of sick. It's so weird being able to one hit knife. Oh my gosh. I'm excited though. I'm very excited to try this out. Of course, we've already got like the, um, let's say, historically accurate symbols um, around the map. So that's one thing. Like I said, this mod does more than just the HUD and the weapons. So pretty sure it's a Black Ops 2 HUD all around though. Like even the scoreboard, which is pretty cool. I have to resist the temptation to just do the Easter egg in this map. I mean, it's quite likely that I'm going to end up doing it because the moon Easter egg is one of my favorites. I, I know that's controversial. It's definitely not one of my favorites in terms of like the RNG nature of it. I loathe the RNG nature of it, but the actual, you know, the ending, observing destruction and being able to enjoy it and just bask in the beauty of it is kind of sick, especially in the remaster. So yeah, definitely one of my favorite Easter eggs of all time. Okay, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, let's go, let's go, let's go. The question is, when we get to the biodome, are we going to see PhD? Because if we're not going to see PhD, um, I might have a problem with these weapons. So far, so good though. So far, so very good. Okay, get rid of this fella. Okay, I'm thinking now we should grab a point weapon. We should definitely grab a point weapon. Tunnel six, of course. Right, we've got a, what is that? A Tech 9. Interesting, right? Okay, that's Cold War, obviously. I'm guessing this is just going to be a true M16. Should be, right? Yes, there we go. M16. Open this door up. And what's in place of the stakeout? We've got a, a stakeout. I don't remember any other gun being called to stakeout. I'm guessing that must be like a trench gun, maybe? I don't even know. Right, turn the power on. Oh boy, that lag was tremendous. Oh, Max Emma, hello. I absolutely adore the Moon Remaster, though. This looks so damn good. Like, Treyarch did an amazing job with Moon in particular, especially with the Biodome. It's it's hands down the best Chronicles remaster they did. Easily. Anyone who says otherwise is just wrong. I'm sorry. Right, it's prone, double tap. Um, you know what? I shouldn't be here. I'm gonna I'm gonna try and grab the uh the MP5. So for that, I should not be in there because I'm just gonna get absolutely ganged by Nova Crawlers and 
N nobody wants to be ganged by Nova Crawlers. Okay, come on, get rid of you. Right, where's the astronaut? I, I heard you spawn. I heard you spawn. Where are you hiding, my little fella? I'm gonna go on a little hunt for you, boy. Where are you at? How far have you gotten so far? Made it here? Oh, you're gonna try and play hide and seek with the door. There you are. Ain't no way. That splash damage is brutal. You are kidding me. There goes Quick Revive. Okay. Did I get rid of him at least? I didn't. All right, cool. We're fine. All right, let's grab Quick Revive and pretend that never happened. Oh boy, I don't want to use this thing in here. Right. This is why I need that PhD, man. Or just not be ass at the game. That's also an option. Yeah, even this tunnel looks amazing, man. Freaking adore this map. It's They've done such a good job. Even these lights on the side of Tunnel 6, just all of it, like the detail is so immaculate. It's crazy how I'm still like in awe of a DLC pack that came out in like 2018. That's how much I love these maps. Was it 2017? I don't even remember. The time has gone so fast. Pretty sure it was 17, wasn't it? Okay, right. Your boy needs an MP5 stat. Okay, here we go. Beautiful. And it's the one from Cold War. Of course it is. Oh, but with the Black Ops 1 sound. I like that. Hold up. Let's take off this little helmet here. Let me hear that again. Yeah, I like that. That's a nice blend. A very nice blend. I do feel like the sound design of weapons in the older games was just way better. So I kind of like this blend of like modern models, but with the old sound. Big fan of that. Big fan. Am I going to be able to use the hacker device or is there just not enough time for that? Kill the Nova fella and kill this sprinter. There we go. All right, let's look for the hacker. I'm going to try and hack these doors. Just because I'm going real cheapskate mode out here. There it is. The hacker device is so cute. I love this little noise. Listen to it. Adorable. Just me? Maybe? I don't know. I guess I'm the only one that thinks this. I'm scared. How close are you? Oh, wow. Okay, never mind. Look at this biodome. Even to this day, to this day, I still love this place. The music they put in the background, all of it. They did the biodome so right with this remaster. And this mod makes it even better. However, I don't approve of that. I don't approve of that at all. Where's, where's, come on, come on. PhD. We do have the box though. We have exactly enough to spin it. Though I'm thinking we should rack up some points, get Jug first. Let's not get too ahead of ourselves. And you know what? Seeing as I'm only using the basic core gums, we may as well grab a gobble gum. What have we got? In plain sight. Perfect. Literally the one I wanted. Miss me with that perkaholic shit. That's just nah. Get out of here. Ruins the fun. But we are definitely going to spin the box. We're going to try a lot of different weapons here. And we're probably going to replace the Mustang and Sally because yeah, no PhD kind of kills that off. This MP5K? feels really good. It really does. I'm a big fan of this. Okay, we're gonna have to spin the box anyway because I can't be bothered to go into that death trap of a lab. We've got what we got, what we got. Oh, Spass 12. I'll welcome that. Terrible for points though, so we're gonna get rid of it. But that sound. Oh, the old school Spass. Mm, I love it. That is beautiful. That is just gorgeous. Oh, I forgot how much I missed this sound. No, I'm actually gonna get rid of the Mustangs next. I'm actually gonna get rid of them. Definitely not for that though. That's just, that's crazy. Actually, you know what? Screw it. It's good for points. We'll take it. Oh, I don't even recognize that noise. What even is that? I actually can't place that one. And I'm very surprised. I can normally like get it in an instant. Let's spin it again. I want to see these weapons. It seems to me like they're all Cold War ones, which kind of makes sense because this is a Black Ops 1 map. And of course, Cold War was set in the same kind of era. I'm pretty sure in this um in this mod, if you play the uh, World at War themed Chronicles maps, you also get a blend of World War 2 weapons. Right, let's spin this box again. What you got for me? Something succulent, please. What you got? Oh, this wait, scatter gun. This isn't called the Marshall anymore. What is why is it called the scatter gun? Is that the proper name for it? Oh, I do like this inspector. Feels like I'm playing Doom. Mm, there we go. Love that. I mean, this weapon, I'm probably gonna pap. Let's be honest. I love me a double barrel shotgun. It's just beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Love that. Bow, bow. Yeah, it's too satisfying. Far too satisfying. A little bit sad about this BO3 death machine, but you can't have everything. This mod is also getting constant updates as well. So it's a very recent thing. I believe the creator of this mod goes by the name of Mal B or Marley B. I can't remember which one it is. Oh, that's perfect. Okay, cool. We may as well do the Easter egg. If we're getting tunnel six this early, we got to do it. Right, RPG. I mean, I'm I'm not that crazy. Psych. Three, two, one, boom. Oh. Wow, okay, so the splash damage for this is less than the Mustangs. That's that's insane. Ready, but, oh, bro, I didn't want to be left with this. That wasn't part of the plan. So the plan is, I'm acting like I have a plan. Right, try and get enough to pap and jug. Though I'm guessing, yeah, with this gun, it's probably a bad idea. Wait, I just realized the next landing is going to be speed color, isn't it? Oh, boy. Okay, I may as well just go now then and pack a punch this thing at the very least. So we'll just pap the marshals. Sounds like a good idea to me. Oh boy, I need to buy the door. Come on, dude. LA. LA only. It's the only way she got for me. Hello. We're really fighting for scraps out here. Where's the where's the dead shot machine? Hello. Give me 100 points, please. Thank you. There you go. Perfect. Wait. Oh, got an extra bonus points. I'll take that. I forgot the hacker device actually did that. Right. Let's pack a punch. Let's do it. Go, 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 go. Please turn to your world. Please turn to your world. Please turn to your world. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, here we go. Quad burst as well. Yes, sir. I'm a fan of that. That, oof. This feels brutal. Mm. Yeah, this is satisfying as hell. No, whilst I'm here, I may as well even grab speed color. Why not? 
We've got a nice inspect animation. We've got a decent ammo count. Things are looking pretty up right now. We just need Jug, obviously. So far, though, I'm a pretty big fan of this model. All the weapons feel really nice. They feel refined. The damage models have been changed as well because when I saw the Cold War 1911, I got a little bit worried because I thought it was just going to be overpowered, but it wasn't. All the guns have revised sounds. They feel like they have a revised recoil model as well potentially might be right might be wrong about that but they feel different even by the other like ports to black ops 3 that i've seen these weapons feel like refined in a, in a different way i'm very much a fan of it right, once we hack this digger back up where we're gonna grab a spacesuit we may as well do the uh the, the sam says little computer terminal thing come on breach me pappy breach me there it is there it is doing its thing give you a massive decompression in tunnel six all right let's hack this thing pronto let's go 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 let's hack this thing pronto and get out of here beautiful oh yep forgot about the thousand points i get for that as well love that right pes let's go i think that was a blue i think i caught a blue there there you go blue red uh we've got a blue and we've got a red love that blue red red right doing this without jug makes me very nervous red red green blue blue can i back away now yep cool thank goodness <laughs> Oh, damn. Okay. Doing this without jug just makes me nervous on solo, man. Deal with you later, my good sir. Right. So the plan is do this little hacky thing. Teleport back as soon as possible to grab Juggernog. Oh, hello. How you doing? Grab the wave gun. Do that step of the Easter egg that requires the wave gun. And then as soon as we're done with the wave gun, we'll keep these shotguns because I love them. And then just explore the other weapons in the mod. That's the plan. We'll just replace the wave gun. I don't really mind. Where's the wire at though, for real? Why here? I've dead ass forgot the location of the wire. This is, yeah, that's not ideal. Oh, it's right here. Okay, cool. Fine, fair enough. Right, hack thing. Hello. Oh, may as well buy a double tap, because why not? I'm actually curious if this mod changes the perk limit. I don't think it does, but definitely worth a look. I think we're good, right? Yep, there we go. Perfect. That's you done. Okay, I'm going to just use this to, I don't know, like Alakazam these... <laughs> <laughs> like Kazam, these boys are up, bro. I missed. It's terrible for points, but I mean, yeah, for some reason the splash damage doesn't even seem that extreme. Like, that was pretty close. And I'm still. Wow. Does this thing even have any? I don't want to shoot the floor without Jug, though. I'm scared. What about that? Okay, cool. It does. Right, fair enough. All right, shotgun. Let's go. I love. Ooh, hello. You're useful. We've got Spass 12. Happy to see, but not right now. HK21. Ooh, nice and old school. What else? What else? What else? What else? Spass 12. No. Just had you abort. No. Seriously? That ain't it. That was rude. This teleport already though, round 11 without Jug is, is yeah. <laughs> Hardly extreme, but man, I'm just feeling nervous about having all these perks and all of this set up and just having it all go. Okay, may as well throw the grenade over here for the plates. Okay, cool. Right, I'm feeling safe. Life is beautiful. Oh man, I love the sound of this gun so much. So much. It just feels so beefy, man. This mod is making me, yeah, it's making me smile. Definitely download it if you're watching this and you have a copy of black ops 3 on pc it's worth playing i'm telling you i also like how this is like the first mod i've seen i think since the um black ops 2 conversion mod that kind of like fully converts the game like not just the weapons but changes some of the visuals and changes the hud as well as the weapons like i'm here for it normally you find mods that you know change the hud change the visuals change the weapons but they're typically separate mods and in this game you can't run more than one mod at a time so it's refreshing when you see a mod that kind of acts as the complete package, you know? Yeah, this fast is just doing the most right now. I love it. Even though it's insta-kill, I still, I still just, you know, I feel compelled to just do that. You know, oh, I'm out of ammo. Never mind. Okay, now we spin the box. We need to get that wave gun. Seems like it's in a location that I cannot be bothered to hack. So we're just going to spin it vanilla style. If I'm not mistaken, it's by the uh, the fake stakeout, which, you know what? I'm going to have to find out what this is because it's bugging me. What is it? It is just a, right. It's just a, okay, no wave gun yet. QEDs, Gershes. Wait, we need Gershes first, don't we? I'm actually going to use this Dragonov to uh, kill the spaceman because I can hear his little radio around here somewhere. Hello. How many shots? Wow, two shots? Damn, okay. This thing's pretty beefy. Come on, wave gun. Come on. Also notice how the box has changed as well. It's gone for the uh, the classic star, the orange hue light underneath it. Okay, right. So we've got QEDs, but we need Gershes first if my memory serves me correctly. So that's kind of disappointing. Crossbow, come on, dude. All right. Next round it is. Do you normally the struggle with the RNG for me in this map is more so tunnel six than getting the wave gun. So uh, here we go. Tunnel six again. This shotgun is so beefy, bro. It is so beefy. This thing can just annihilate everything in its wake. I love it. I know it's only round 12, okay? But just let me celebrate, okay? Let me have this. It's a lot of Nova quarters. Get out of here, boy. Okay, we've got to move quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on. There we go. M's. Oh, <laughs> M60. Yeah. Oh, it's got the Black Ops 1 sound as well. That is too beautiful. I was tempted to keep that. In fact, I really want to. I know I've already gotten rid of it, but I'd love to pack a bunch of M60 because that already felt amazing in that brief period of time that I used it. Even this Uzi feels clean. And that's one thing I love about Cold War. Even though I'm not like the biggest Cold War fan, the weapons felt amazing. And in Black Ops 3 with these amended sounds and like all of these little changes that this mod developer has done, 
if they feel even better. Dare I say better than they did in Cold War? I know that's a, a bold statement, but they genuinely feel that way. Okay, go, 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 go. Reverse you. Get out of here. Oh, hello. How you doing? <laughs> These shotguns are a joke. I doubt I even needed to fire both of them, to be honest. Right, M16, aka the Ura machine, as I like to refer to it. As I'll take it. Why not? How do you feel? Oh, boy. That's not good. Oh, you are kidding me, dude. You are kidding me. There is no way, bro, that I just let that happen. I feel like such a fool. I am a fool. That's the reality of it, man. What an idiot. What is that? A ballistic knife? Get out of here, bro. I don't even need a quarter. I don't know why I'm trying to keep him. What else you got? Teddy bear. Right. Fine. Fair enough. All right. Double tap. Of course. We need that. What's even worse, bro, is that I'm so used to playing without um, gobble gums because I just never use them. I literally could have just popped it in plain. Even if I, yeah, I'm just, ugh. I don't even know if we were on like the jug spin or the speed cutter spin, but I'm not feeling too good about my chances. At the very least, this weapon's great for points up until I run out of ammo, which is like any second now. And I'm rescuing without quick revive. This is, yeah, this is going swimmingly. Box is out here. What you got for me? You want to give me the wave gun? You want to be nice? Uh, of course you don't. Although that G11. Oh, that's pretty sick. Oh, boo. It's not got the stick mag. I mean, of course, this is the, uh, what was it? The carve? Was it called the carve in Cold War? I'm also very shocked that I've gone down twice on moon. I mean, that's that's embarrassing in and of itself. Though on the plus side, this is definitely jug. Okay, thank you. But I can't be the only one that feels like Gobblegums is just cheating and they just kind of like conditioned themselves to never actually use them. I mean, I'm at a point now where I take them because I actually do want to use them. But because I've spent so many years refusing to actually pick them up, I've just kind of forgotten they exist. One thing I will say is this is another weapon that I actually wouldn't mind trying to pack a punch though because if it follows in the footsteps of the G11 from Black Ops 1, that fully auto is going to be insane. And I mean, the weapons in this mod don't just follow the same principle as Cold War. We already know that because we've got the Mustang and Sally's, of course, the marshals never turned into this. So I mean, I'm very curious to see what happens. All right, we've got the hacker device. I mean, this location is not too bad, but I seriously hate running back and forth. Bro, Thumper, get out of here. Get out of here. I do like how we got the DLC weapons in this as well. That had me nervous. I hate this. I hate these things. Seriously. Who made them teleport? Who at Treyarch, okay, thought, we'll take these annoying, absolute f and we'll make them teleport. How's that sound? Unbelievable. You know, I actually can't live like this anymore. I'm, I'm so sick of running back and forth. We're just doing this. I'm sorry. I can't. <laughs> I just can't, bro. I haven't got the patience for this. I have a feeling I'm not going to get it this year. It's just not happening. Is that the python? Oh, bro, I love the python. Broke my heart to get rid of that thing. I mean, I just remember hating the Magnum in Cold War. I imagine this mod like changes it to feel more like the uh, the python from Black Ops 1, which was goated, by the way. Actually, always bugged me that the characters in BO1 always like acted disappointed when they pulled the python from the box, when in actual fact, it was one of the more powerful weapons that weren't like Wonder Weapon, obviously. We're going to stay in here. We're going to use this double points. We're going to lock and load this stoner, which weirdly has a small amount of reserve ammo, but at least for an LMG, but we're just going to make as many points as we can here. Right, get rid of you. You're dead. Very nice. That was obviously body went flying, bro. Damn. Right, we don't have speed cola, which is not ideal. Oh boy, screw it. Just use this. This thing is so good. Oh, that is even better. Wow. Okay, cool. Mac 11. Oh, I love this thing. Yeah, this is... Bro, that fire rate is insane. <laughs> bro. Oh, I have to pap this as well at some point, surely. And the Python. Let's see. Yes, you actually have a proper firing rate with it. Unlike the Magnum with Cold War, where it's like... You can actually properly, like, pepper this thing. Oh, yeah. Very good. I'm gonna have to pap this as well, aren't I? Let's be real. You know what? I actually love the Python so much. I'm gonna get rid of the... I'm gonna get rid of these. I know that's crazy, but I'm gonna have to. Come on, just give me the wave gun. Just, just do it, please. PPSH. Oh, hello. Oh, now you're really... Ooh, okay. You know what? We're grabbing it. <laughs> oh, the fire rate is so satisfying. That's absurd. At this point, I'm like such a big fan of these two weapons. I'm actually going to pap them both because ultimately this video is more so about the weapon mod than doing the moon easter egg again. I'm going to try and do both, but man, I'm getting impatient. I want to see some good weapons here. And this mod is chock full of them. How powerful is the Python? One bullet headshot on round 16 with double tap. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to hear. What about body? Oh, it's a one shot to the chest. Okay. Yeah, this thing is beefy. PPSH, how you doing? <laughs> oh, bro. Satisfying as always is the simple answer. Seeing the Cold War PPSH with this revised sound and this revised feel 
with the Black Ops 1 pap camo is going to feel pretty sick. I'm not going to lie. We've got enough to pap both as well. So I may as well get 13k, grab speed coder whilst we're at it. I do not remember how much it costs to uh, hack the pack a punch. But I don't really care at this point. Just move. Okay, go, 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 go. Right. Oh, you gain money, bro. All right, PPSH, love you. We've got the Reaper. Oh, that's so nice. Okay, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Are you going to turn a Kimbo? You're not going to turn a Kimbo, but you know what? That's fine. Got a little scope. We can still pepper it. Still feels a lot better than the Cold War one. That's for sure. How does this PPSH look? Oh, bro. Oh, bro. This is gorgeous. Oh, shoot. I should have been thinking what I was doing. It's okay. We're fine. No panicking. I'm not panicking. You're panicking. All right, speed color. I'm actually probably going to keep the PFSH over the Python, but we're going to do this whole round with this Python just to celebrate it before I get rid of it. Yeah, this thing is ridiculously powerful. Okay. It reminds me of the Python from Black Ops 1 in the, in the sense that it's like a little hidden gem. But this thing does work, bro. Damn. Just destroys them. This is a very satisfying weapon to use now. If this is what the Cold War Python felt like, bro, life would have been so much nicer. Is it just cleared the round already? Bro, I've barely been able to talk. Like, that is actually absurd. We've cleared around that quickly with this thing. No doubt that that Python is a work of art, but we're going to have to get rid of it now. Much as it breaks my little heart. There's that RPG. Come on, bro. Right, the box is back here. I cannot be bothered to do the hacker device to and from this place, man. I know it's not that hard, but I just don't care. I hate it. Oh, hello. I've already used a wave gun just a little bit because it might have been changed in this mod. Because the developer did say on the uh, workshop page that they've changed a few of the um, wonder weapons in terms of how they function, but but I'm not sure if the wave gun's one of them, so we'll see. But either way, we won't keep this thing for very long. Oh, am I even going to be able to afford this? Now's a good time to test if we can... Ah, oh, it's not a four perk limit. How about that? But now I definitely can't afford to get out of here. Sometimes I really am a silly goose. 1250, we can make that money. Let's see if this thing functions any differently. We've got normal ass zap guns doing normal zap gun things. We've got a wave gun, which I'm going to take a wild guess does wave gun things. Am I right here? Am I right in my hypothesis? Yes. Boom. Wow. Already like a third full. Love that. All right, PPSH, now is your time. Oh, whoa. On round 18, I know it's pack a punched and we got double tap 2.0, but that was very effective. Damn. Okay. This thing don't play around. This thing is really good. Let me flip you. There we go. Might as well farm those points like we always should. Epic music, bro. I'm not even there. Point farm time because the RNG is not over yet. We've got to get Gersh's and then we've got to get the Kiwi D's back because of course we do. And then worst of all, we're going to need the Gersh's back again. Absolutely criminal RNG in this Easter egg, but it is worth it. It really is. The one gripe that I have with this mod so far, and it's literally the only gripe that I have, is having the Black Ops 3 death machine. If you're going to commit to this weapon overhaul thing with the classic card and everything, make it the BO2 one or the BO1 one or even the Cold War one. Just, just not the Black Ops 3 one. Like I say, this mod is like still ongoing. It's still being worked on. So maybe a, a new death machine or something. We'll see. Okay, that was sick. We're on 11k now. We've literally, like, there's only one zombie in Era 51, bro. This is good. Bro, that's crazy. Are they really just... Wow, that was weird. But like we just completed the map for a second. All right, time to get rid of these things. I want something juicy with some Gersh devices on the side, please. What you got for me? Uzi, mm, somewhat somewhat juicy, but not all the juice. Crossbow, okay. Cool to see. I do miss when mystery boxes had that kind of big weapon diversity that we saw in Black Ops 1. I feel like Cold War started to bring that back. Things like the ballistic knife, the crossbow, stuff like that. But let's see how effective this thing is. Okay, very. Come on. Oh, no. One thing I've noticed is that max ammos don't replenish your clip in this mod, which is a little bit of a shame. But the other thing I've noticed is that this Python is still a one-shot kill. Unpapped on round 19. Clearly, the mod developer feels the same way about the Python as I do. They clearly spent time making this right. There we go. Right, let's see how quickly we can take this guy out with this. Bro, what was that? Four shots, maybe five? With an unpapped Python on round 19, bro. Pain in... Pancreas. You know what that line? <laughs> when I was a kid, I didn't know what a pancreas was. So I was like, what's a what's a pancreas? I thought he meant like ass, but with pancreas in front of it. I can't have been the only one that thought that. Time for Gersh is now. You hear me, Sam? The time for Gersh is now. Nope. Where? Oh, 96, sir. Happy to see you. Hmm. Interesting. It's not actually using the uh, the Black Ops 1 sound. That kind of makes me sad. I was hoping to hear that again. Still nice though. Oh, bro, I forgot to hack it. Ugh, what a goose. See, Moon is fun in every single aspect except this. This box spinning endless torture is the worst. Hello. I right, may as well just go ahead and use these now because we're going to go straight back and we've got to get the QEDs immediately after. Ain't that fun? The thing we literally already had. Welcome to Moon. This whole thing could have been made way less of a hassle. Like you could have kept the whole like RNG element. 
but I just wish in the Black Ops 3 version there was like a weapon table or somewhere to like stow away a weapon of your choice and have like this tactical equipment be one of the options. So like you could stow a Gersh device away if you got it too soon or a QED or even a wave gun if you want to use it later instead of immediately. Some kind of way to stow weapons you don't want to use right now. That you're going to want to use later. It would have been really nice to see. So maybe if the mod developer watches this video, that would be a cool little feature. What MP40 is that though? Because I don't think it was in Cold War, was it? What is this? This is the... Oh, Cold World War 2 one. Okay. But with the Black Ops 1 MP40 noises. Okay. What a nice combination, to be honest. Though I'm not going to lie, the best MP40 is still the World at War 1. In fact, to be honest, this MP40, but with the World at War sounds, that would be perfect. Is that a Galil? Mm, that's tempting. Annoying though, because I need the QEDs and I can't be bothered to just wait it out. Oh, the Mac 11. I really want to pap this. So tempted. You know what? I actually am. Screw it. We'll go to the next round. We'll pap this. I have to pap this. I need to see. If we can get this dual wielded, bro. Imagine a dual wield weapon with this fire rate. I mean, come on. Dual wielding that is just going to be too much fun. This PPSH still feels amazing, man. This this weapon mod genuinely is brilliant. I'm a huge fan of it. Oh, boy. Let's not... You know what? Let's not make the same mistake again. Let's... You know what? I can't bother to use in plain sight. Screw it. We'll be fine. Just get good, right? This should be so good for points. Rounding up all these zombies right now with a Mac 11. Right, let's go for body shots only. Let's do it. Line them up. Line them up. Right, we've got 6,500. One clip. 8,000. Bro. 1,500 per clip. That is so sick, dude. This is going to be so much fun to pap. <laughs> Bro. Oh man, these guns make me so happy. They make me so happy. And they're Cold War weapons. That's the best part. Even as someone who's not a fan of Cold War, I've got to admit these guns, they just they just feel great. Please be jeweled. Please be jeweled. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh man. I, I mean, it is still kitted out though. Look at that. That looks insane. That's a big barrel as well. We've got a drum mag at the bottom as well. I mean, 40 is kind of small, but we'll take it. In fact, the ammo count is actually terrible considering how fast the fire rate is and the fact is pack a punch yeah this is actually disappointing but it looks it looks absolutely beautiful there's no denying that i like the blend of attachments yeah that's something that i kind of miss about the older call of duty zombie games is that when you pack a punch there was kind of like mystery before weapon kits came along you never really knew what attachments you'd get or maybe the attachments you'd get quote unquote aren't even well, attachments, they just completely changed the functionality of the gun altogether, like Mustang and Sally's, for example, or even like these uh, jeweled marshals we got earlier, you know, the double barrel shotguns that turned into like quad burst on either side. That's not a thing in Cold War, do you know what I mean? And that's something that just comes as a dope feature of upgrading the weapon. Those days are gone ever since weapon kits got introduced. And it's a weird one because I'm kind of on the fence. Obviously, on the one hand, I like weapon kits. I like the fact that you can take complete control over what your weapons look and feel like. Sometimes you might upgrade a weapon and you might not like the attachments you get. And that's fair enough. But I don't know there's got to be a way to kind of blend the intrigue and the player customization together as one. I do love the AK-74U sounds. I miss this thing from Black Ops 1, man. Honestly. Same with the MPL as well. The MPL felt amazing. Man, I'm never getting these QEDs back, am I? How does the AUG feel? Oh, bro. Yes. Yes. It feels like it should. No three round burst bullshit. Oh, man. Very tempting to upgrade this. Once I get the QEDs, I'm going back to weapon experimentation. I actually dread to think how much money I've spent on this box just trying to get these QEDs back. It's actually absurd at this point. I'm actually convinced this is never happening. There it is. Teddy bear already. Here we go again. Looks like you're going to be safe, big man. At the very least, this Galil feels really good. As does literally every weapon I've used so far. Like the mod, there's no doubt, is exceptional. Now, I've already said that multiple times at this stage, but it really has to be said. The developer really has done an amazing job here. Oh, double points. Hello. A bit of you. There we go. Perfect. Oh, boy. Bro, this PPSH is just another breed. It's just another breed. I have to hit up the, uh, the AK-74U here, aren't we? I'm going to farm so many points and I'm just going to be dead silent. At the end of this round, you'll know if I've got the QEDs or not. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. We actually got them. Bro, ain't no way. Right now it's going to start a new round whilst the thump is all I have left, right? That's, that's what's going to happen, isn't it? Yep. I knew it. I knew it. You sly piece of sh... G11, you know what? We'll rock with you. That's fine. And if we have to move, we will. We will get out of here. Okay, I'm back here. That's okay. That's okay. That's not too bad. No, no, no. Not again. Not again. I hate, I hate that Nova Crawler spawn. I loathe it with a burning passion. Bro, you've got to be kidding me. I'm literally, I'm all out. I'm all out. I'm all, oh, oh, oh bro. That max ammo was so needed. That is unreal, dude. Absolutely unreal. That Nova Crawler spawn though by the Bowie knife is the most criminal spawn 
ever in zombies. I'm not even exaggerating. Anyone who plays Moon a lot knows exactly what I mean. It is the most brutal, horrendous zombie spawn, I think, in any map that's ever been dropped from Treyarch, honestly. Okay, right. G11, you're nominated to pack a punch. We're gonna we're gonna upgrade this thing, because why not? Please have good ammo. Please have good ammo. Please have good ammo. That isn't that great. Interesting how pack a punching has removed the scope. But it is fully auto. I like that. Ammo count's not great though, but it could be worse. Inspecting it though with the BO1 camo again. These Cold War weapons with the BO1 pap camo is so nice. They never thought this step out in solo like they really didn't think it through i know at the start of the video i said that this is one of my favorite easter eggs ever and it's it's really because of the ending um the steps <laughs> the steps are engaging but just flawed in every sense of the word okay i have a very bad feeling about trying to do this I i'm just gonna put that out there no gobble gums to save my ass and yeah i'm gonna run out of ammo in these guns so quickly i can feel it but i definitely will take it well if i lose two hours of my life of uh spinning a mystery box in hopes of getting certain weapons oh boy here we go here we go come on what is that oh it's an insta kill yes Yes, 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 yes. That is what we need. This is the last set of zombies. Right, okay. We need to spin the box and we need to get something substantially better than this. The G11 lasted all of like three seconds, I'm going to say. Gosh. Oh, we don't need them yet. Oh, I just know. I just know. That's not That's not ever appearing again. I, this game is stressful sometimes. This, <laughs> this map in particular. Question is, does the Ura machine get an undermounted grenade launcher? Because again, these weapon upgrades are a little different to usual. Kind of tempted to find out, but almost don't want to risk it. I think having two fully automatic weapons isn't the play here. <laughs> I'm literally getting nothing but ARs and SMGs. And I guess now an RPG. Fantastic. Even this dude got too bored. I'm actually doing another round outside of the objective because I do just feel like I'm going to get myself killed. I need to gear up on better weapons. Oh, come on. I can't catch a break. I actually can't. Right, new gobble gum at the very least. What is it? Sword flay? Oh, bro. This is just insult to injury at this point. This game is actually actively trying to kill me. I can feel it. Right, clear this round as fast as possible. Leave a last zombie. Get a gun that I actually want to pack a punch and procure enough funds to pack a punch here and then hack the excavator to save the biodome. That's the objective. Oh, bro. I actually give up. I actually give up. I'm going to just go save the biodome and come back. This is actually so painful. Thing is, I'm not even asking for like something that's tight on RNG right now. I'm literally just asking for a gun that isn't fully automatic. A shotgun. A ray gun. Something like that. Just... Oh, come on, a ballistic knife. You answered my questions with the wrong answer. This, <laughs> this has to be the worst RNG I've seen in Moon in a long time. I would, in fact, no, I've seen worse. I've seen Tunnel 6 not even get hit into the 30s because I kept saving it instead of letting all the other tunnels go. Oh, I give up. I give up. I give up. We're just going to upgrade this. We're just going to upgrade the M60. I wanted to do it anyway. We're just going to go and do it. Hopefully using this won't get me killed. Oh, Bullrock. It's got a little smiley on the magazine. That's pretty cute. I like that. That's pretty cool. It looks dope. The right attachments. It sounds great. Ammo count leaves a little bit to be desired. It's clearly been reduced to what you expect from an LMG. Big fan of this one. Big, big, big fan of this one. Yeah, it's definitely weird to have an LMG that has like a significantly lower reserve than the PPSH, but you know, it is what it is. The reload on this is about to be diabolical. So we'll just switch weapons. We'll take a uh, take a little bit of advice from Corporal Dunn. Oh no, 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 no. And I don't have the gums for it. I don't have the gums for it. I don't have the gums to save my ass. Getting increasingly nervous here. This is why having automatic weapons on this round is a bad idea. Look at this. It's not, it's not mowing them the way it was. Okay, at least the front one is the last one. We have a lot more leg room to actually run around here. Jump over them. There we go. Right, cool. Right, we're done. We're done. Yes, sir. There we go. Oh, I've got mule. I've got mule kick. I've got no. No. I didn't agree to this at any point. This is just unacceptable. Right, is it gush time? I think it is, right? Yes, it is. Okay, cool. At least at this point, we no longer need the QED so we can get the Gershies back. Once we have the Gershies back, we can do the Easter egg. As cool as this M60 looks, it has to go. And to be honest, so does the PPSH. We're at that point. We need beef. Pure beef. First things first, can I hack mule kick away? That's the first question I have. Nope, I cannot. Okay, cool. I tried. Thumper. You know what? That might be good at creating crawlers, actually. We might want that. Spas 12. Finally. Something. Something that falls under the category of beef. RPG. I mean, I suppose that's beef, but the wrong kind of beef. That's that's like, I don't know, expired mints. L96. You know what? We'll take it. Two weapons that I'm interested in upgrading. Finally. Okay. We'll upgrade both of these. Head back. We'll try and do the Sam Says thing. Hopefully the Thumper can create a crawler on round 26. You'd hope it would. Oh, look at that. One shot. Fully auto as well. Perfect. Okay. This thing is beefy. Though, pretty sad about the scope on this thing. Kind of was hoping to keep the uh, the classic L96 scope. Right, please turn into a crawler. 
Yes. Oh my goodness. Right. Okay. It actually works. All right. That's the first one done. Perfect. I'm so glad this thumper actually just makes a quarter. Thank goodness. Right. Okay. Cool. Now we just need the gushes. Come on. We're going to need some points for that though. Let's go. So the L96, it feels strangely inaccurate, but overall pretty dope. Get loads of pens. I sell. That's good. Fill these points real quick. Okay. Yes. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Bro, what, what, bro, what even? I was off. Got launched by a whole load of nothing. We're gonna have to do, we're gonna have to do a quick 360 here. Come on, there you go, beautiful. Yeah, this thing sometimes. If you, oh no, oh no, oh hell no, not here, bro, not here. We got the perma perks, but ain't no wet, no, 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 no. Yeah, the L96 sometimes will not actually one shot to the chest, which is pretty sad. We've got one zombie left, please. I have to be blessed with those gushes. I can't fail the Easter egg now. I've definitely spent like genuinely up to probably two hours alone just spinning the box in this map. Like seriously, the solo Easter egg for Moon has got to be the most like... <gasps> Never mind. Hello, I retract everything I said. This map is great. Okay, right. I think we're good to complete the Easter egg. Finally. There it is. There it goes. We actually did it. Okay, perfect. And there it is. The moon Easter egg. We've managed to complete it with this mod. I'm very happy about that. Get to observe this thing. I've seen this at least 12, 13, 14 plus times in my life. Maybe even more actually if I'm counting Black Ops 1. In fact, a hell of a lot more. But it still never gets old. It actually still never gets old. And that's how you know this map is amazing. Despite how RNG the Easter egg is. I do love this map, man. Moon is amazing. And the Chronicles remake is perfect when combined with mods like this. There it is. There it is. The birth of Black Ops 2 zombies. Man, I love this map so much. Ah. Oh. Genuinely never gets old. All right. Well, I'm thinking we upgrade one more weapon for the road. Maybe two. I think we may as well use these gushes and hopefully get close to the uh, biodome with that. Oh, wow. Very close to the biodome, apparently. I'm happy with that. If I die at this point, I don't care. We've done it. We beat the map. That's what that's what we wanted to do, really. Deep down in my heart, that's, that's kind of the whole goal, really. Whenever I play Moon, I have to do the Easter egg. It's just a rule. AUG. Yes, we are going to pap that. We're going to have to pap that. And we may as well get one other weapon to pap with it. Try and rack up 10k with this AUG here. Yeah, seeing this Cold War AUG, but like fully auto like this is so nice, especially with these sounds as well. The only downside to mods like this is that there's obviously there's no leveling. That's where mods like the Ultimate Experience mod by Sphinx shine, because that mod has its own like unique leveling system. Right, we've got 15k. So we've basically got, well, we've got 16k now. We've got 6,000 points to spend on another weapon that we're going to pack a punch. So, oh, a ray gun. Uh, you know what we're going to do? You know what we're going to do? We're going to get rid of the spaz. Is this ray gun? Yep, I thought so. This, it looked different. It is different. It has splash damage still. Okay. Oh, but look, the iron sight is in between as it should be. Oh, oh, and the little gear is like rotating as well. Like it. That is really cool. So the site is like reminiscent of Black Ops 1 and World at War, where the reticle is in between the bars. But then we've got the animation there as well. I think it's loosely based on the Cold War ray gun, it feels like. But with obviously a lot of changes made to it. I'm actually going to go ahead and pack a punch these three weapons. Just because we've got 15k still, so... We'll give him a nice little test in the biodome on round 29. And then I'll, I'll be pretty content. Oh, I forgot how gorgeous Hero 51 looks after we destroy it in the Chronicles remake. It is so nice. It is so stunning, dude. All right, Pack-a-Punch 1. Nice. We'll check that out in a second. Pack-a-Punch 2. We do 3? Are we risking it here? I think we're risking it all. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. All right, I want to see this thing in action. Let's throw a gush and just see where we end up, I guess. Hopefully somewhere nice. That is very nice. Look at that. On to round 29. Now, first thing I noticed about the AUG is that it doesn't have any undermounted attachments, which is kind of sad to me, but you know, it is what it is. Looks wise, pretty. Definitely pretty, but personally, I would have kept the scope on it. The red dot sight, I would have left that out. Everyone's entitled to their own taste, though, of course. Performs pretty well, that's for sure. Definitely really effective, especially with the headshots. Okay, and then we've got the Stomper, which I imagine is still got splash damage. Yes, very much so. Okay, cool. But five to a clip. I oh, it's fully auto. Hold up, hold up, hold up. It's fully auto. Oh, that's pretty sick. I mean, it's weak as ass, but still pretty sick. And then we've got Porter's X2 ray gun, which functions just like a ray gun. Okay, fine. Still looks great though. Strangely enough though, like the animations of it kind of remind me of the Black Ops 2 ray gun in a very weird way. I can't quite explain it. I think it's like the positioning of it. Something feels Black Ops 2 ray gun about it. Those headshots are clean, even on round 29. Right, well, 
I'm thinking that's going to end the round most likely. There we are, round 30. Guys, ladies and gentlemen, I do hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you're new. And if you want to download this mod for yourself, you can do so with the link in the description. I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Much love, stay safe, and I'll see you soon. Come.